Yo, Phil James. Today's uh, July 17th, 2017. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and film these, all these uh, radio and cell towers that are being put up all over the place. And it's kind of crazy because I'll put a link to another video and he gets very detailed as into how many watts of power it takes to broadcast a signal across the earth. But the point is, is they are discreetly putting these towers up and trying to keep it relatively like hidden or, you know, they'll build one of these towers and it's a hundred feet taller than all the trees, but they'll put tree branches and bark on it to make it look like a tree. They're doing it all over. There's one in uh, Dublin Muirfield here in Ohio where I'm at. And then here in Delaware where I'm at right now, um, they actually started slapping these rectennas and big microwave emitting dishes up on one of these old buildings. I mean, this building's been here for years and years and years. I used to watch birds land on it as a child. Um, but no, so the point is, though, I do believe, like many others, that these cell towers have more than one purpose. And it's not just to give you your cell phone service and provide you with communications. It's not what it's for, strictly. So, the reason I'll say, the reason I'm saying that is because of what I've learned and what these things cause to the human body. Um, but no, so here's the point. They put them like directly beside one another, all these towers. You can look up who, like which carriers have paid to put antennas on each cell phone tower around you in your area. And you know, there might be nine that are separate phone companies out of 12, but then the last, you know, three are labeled private investor. So who's the private investor? But no, so here, I just wanna go ahead and show you this. So, look at that. That is insane. Three antennas right beside each other. And then this old building I was just talking about has been completely topped with rectennas and dishes. I had a buddy that actually used to work on these towers. And I do believe he did it in Florida. Um, but no, he always said that if you get in front of one of those circular dish looking things, the big drum looking things, uh, it would cook you like a microwave. That's what he always said. But I mean, like I said, I'm gonna put a link in this video description and it's gonna be to a channel. The channel's name is Ron Johnson and the video is called Death Towers. These have more than just the one reason we all know. Um, and the reason people can say this and assume this and be sure about it is because it takes two kilowatts to broadcast a signal across the planet. And when you have towers like this and you look at the amount of wiring, it's a hell of a lot more than two kilowatts. I'm talking megawatts. And it's not like it's just a couple here and there. There's three right there, plus all the little rectennas and whatnot they added to the top of that building. And then you, it doesn't matter. You can look anywhere in the distance and always find more. So I just wanted to go ahead and hit this and show you guys like the way they're trying to discreetly pack these rectennas and antennas into city areas without people noticing as much. Like I said, I mean now, you know, just like I said in Dublin Muirfield, they built one and put tree branches all over it to make it look like a massive redwood tree or something. But yeah. Doesn't even matter where you look, you'll always see one in, in the distance. But no, I just wanted to touch up on that, show you guys how close these were and <clears throat> the amount of antennas and rectennas they put on these things. 
and then in Ron Johnson's video, you'll see the power supply. And it is quite gnarly. And I mean it, quite gnarly. So. We are being bombarded with electromagnetic frequencies all day. Wi-Fi and then whatever other type of beta particles and radiation you can imagine. It's a daily thing. And now they're talking about 5G and Wi-Fi, so who knows. But like I said, a link will be in the description and you guys should definitely check that video out. Ron Johnson, it's called Death Towers. I highly, highly recommend it. It'll give you an idea of just how much power is going into these cell towers. But, hey. Full James, I'm out of here. Peace.